Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Sir GL and welcome to the Alliance Blog and Math Tutorial. For today, we are going to talk about mean grouped data. We are going to talk about mean grouped data. The objectives of this lesson, lesson are, number one, discuss mean grouped data. Discuss mean grouped data. Number two, solve the value of mean grouped data. So for the value of mean group data, those are the objectives of this lesson. Always remember, try and try until you succeed. Please do not lose hope. Try and try until you succeed. And please do not lose hope. Let's now discuss what is mean. Mean, it is just simply the average of a distribution. It is just simply the average of a distribution. Also, it is defined as the sum of all the items divided by the number of them. It is also defined as the sum of all the items divided by the number of them. What is the formula for the mean group data? Mean is equal to the summation of fx over n. Mean is equal to the summation of fx over n, where x bar is, is the mean. This one is the summation, fx is the product of the frequency at midpoint, n is the number of distribution. Let's now try to apply this formula on the given example. Given here the age bracket of the female respondents, there are nine females who belong to 21 to 25 years old, eight females belong to 26 to 30 years old, Seven females belong to 31 to 35 years old. Six, female belo six females belong to 36 to 40 years old. Nine females belong to 41 to 45 years old. Five females belongs, belong to 46 to 50 years old. And there are two females who belong to 51 to 55 years old. Now, what are the steps in solving for the mean? Let's first find the midpoint of the class by adding the lower class limit and upper class limit divided by 2. For each class, we will be adding the lower class limit and the upper class limit divided by 2. Example, 21 plus 25 is 46 divided by 2, that is 23. 26 plus 30 is 58 divided by 2, that is 28. 31 plus 35 Divided by 2 is 33. 36 plus 40, that is 76, divided by 2, 38. 41 plus 45 is 86, divided by 2, 43. 46 plus 50 is 96, divided by 2, 48. 51 plus 55 is 106, divided by 2, 53. That is the first part. Let's find the midpoint by simply adding the lower class limit and the upper class limit divided by 2. That is the value for the midpoint. Next step, for each row, find the product of f and x. For each row, find the product of f and x. What is 9 multiplied by 3? 8 multiplied by 28? 7 multiplied by 33? 6 multiplied by 38? 9 multiplied by 43? 5 multiplied by 48? 2 multiplied by 53? That is 207, 224, 231, 228, 387, 240, and 106. That is the second step. Find the product of F and X. 9 multiplied by 23, 207. 8 times 28, 224. 7 times 33, 231. 6 times 38, 228. 9 times 43, 387. 5 times 48, 240. 2 multiplied by 5, 3, 106. The next step is... Add all the values of f and add all the values of fx. We will be adding the, the value for f, the values for f, 9 plus 8 plus 7 plus 6 plus 9 plus 5 plus 2. That is 46. So there are 46 females. Then add all the values of fx or the summation of fx, 207 plus 224 plus 231 plus 228 plus 387 plus 240 plus 106. The answer is 1,623. That is the summation of fx. That is 1,623. These two values are the, 
are the values that we need in order for us to solve for the value of mean. Let's now try to solve the value for mean. N is equal to 4 to 6. Summation of fx is 1, 6, 2, 3. Therefore, we will be dividing 1, 6, 2, 3 by 4 to 6. And the answer is 35.28. That is the mean of the age of the female respondent. 35.28. So that is dividing the summation of fx by n, that is 1623 divided by 46. And the final answer is 35.28. That means the average age of the female respondents is 35.28. I hope you were able to follow our simple instructions. Let's now have another example. Given. The age bracket for male respondents, four people, four males are aged from 21 to 25 years old. 14 people or 14 males are, are from 26 to 30 years old, and so on and so forth. So then what's the first step? The first step is find the midpoint of the class by adding the lower class limit and upper class limit divided by two. Adding the, the lower class limit and the upper class limit divided by 2. 21 plus 25, that is 46 divided by 2. 26 plus 30, that is 56 divided by 2. 31 plus 35, 66 divided by 2. 36 plus 40, that is 76 divided by 2. 41 plus 45, that is 86 divided by 2. 46 plus 50, that is 96 divided by 2. 51 plus 55, that is 106 divided by 2. And the midpoint, here are the midpoints for each class. So 21 plus 25, that is 46 divided by 2, 23. So these are the midpoints for each class. Next one, for each row, find the product of F and X. We will be finding for the product of F and X. 4 times 23, 14 times 28, 6 times 33, 7 times 38, 22 times 43, 8 times 48, 3 multiply by 53. And here are the products of F and X. 92, 392, 198, 266, 946, 384, 159. 4 times 23, 92. 14 times 28, 392. 6 times 33, 198. 7 times 38, 266. 22 times 43, 946. 8 times 48, 384. 3 multiply by 53, 155. Next step. Add all the values of F and add all the values of F and X. So 4 plus 14 plus 6 plus 7 plus 22 plus 8 plus 3, that is 64. There are 64 male respondents. Then add 92 plus 392 plus 198 plus 266 plus 946 plus 384 plus 159. The answer is 2,437. Summation of f, x, and n are the values that we need in order for us to solve for the value of mean. Let's move on. Value of n is 64. Summation of f, x, that is mean is equal to summation of f, x over n, 2,437 divided by 64. The answer is 38.08. That means the average age of male respondents is 38.08. And the processes are just very easy, right? Let's go back with the process. Find the midpoint of the class by adding the lower class limit and upper class limit divided by 2. So 21 plus 25, 46 divided by 2, 23. 26 plus 30, that is 56 divided by 2, 28, and so on and so forth. For each row, find the product of F and X. 4 times 23, 92. 14 times 28, 392. 6 times 33, and so on and so forth. Then add all the values of F and add all the values of Fx. Add all the values of F and add all the values of Fx. That is summation of Fx and the value for N. Then after that, we will be getting the summation of Fx or substituting the formula. Summation of Fx, which is 2,437, divided by N, that is... 38.08. I hope you were able to follow our simple instruction on how to get the value for mean group data. Oh, we're finished. Always remember 
mathematics will always remind us that in every problem, there is a solution. Guys, whatever happens to your life, whatever challenges you may encounter in your life, please do not give up. Please do not give up because mathematics will always remind us that in every problem, there is a solution. Thank you for watching and God bless you all. Bye!